and welcome back to the vlog. Uh, this is my four wheel pop-up camper and in today's vlog I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. All right as you can see it was super simple to pop up. Uh, there's six latches on the top you just undo those, climb inside, push up on the back and then on the front and she's up. We'll just dive in and give you the tour. And welcome to the inside of the camper. So first off uh, why did I go with a camper? For years I always had a truck. I've had a topper on my truck. I put like a board in the back to sleep on and that worked out great. It was great for just me. The problem was is that after like a couple days out in the woods sleeping in the back of my truck, it just, man, you're really, really uncomfortable. Didn't really have much headroom, couldn't really sit up. And I just found that, you know, instead of like going out for a week at a time, I'd usually go out for like one, two, three days max. And after three days, I'd be so uncomfortable that I was like, man, I just, I'm gonna come home. I wanted to get a camper. I wanted to get something that I could use as a base camp. Yeah, spend like 10 days out there, either you know, on photo assignment, out shed hunting for a week or 10 days at a time, or on like a 10 day truck based hunt. So yeah, bought a camper and uh, this model, this is a four wheel camper, that's the brand. Um, uh, the model is a fleet. Four wheel campers is super awesome. They make very, very light campers. And the great thing is, about a light camper is that you can put them on mid-sized to small trucks. So I've got a four-cylinder Toyota Tacoma and this camper fits in it and rides really, really great. So yeah, so let's dive in to some of the features. So first off, you'll notice how tall this thing is. So I'm about six feet tall and I've got probably four more inches of head space. So I think if you're like six, four, like that's kind of the max height that you can be before you hit your head. Super roomy, obviously. Um, you'll notice on the side here, we've got one, two, three, and four windows. I've got these open at the moment to let lots of light in. All right, now we've got the bed. Uh, memory foam cushions. This bed by itself right now, how it's set up, is about the size of a double. Um, so not super big. You can fit two people comfortably that way. What you can do, you can slide it out, and then there's um, some more cushions right here, and you put the cushions here, 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 and here. And all of a sudden it's like, I believe the size of a king bed. You can fit two people extremely comfortably. You can fit, I've actually fit three people, like one, two, and three. So yeah, it's really great if you're by yourself, if you've got a small group, like you can kind of fit everybody in here pretty dang comfortably. All right, next up on the ceiling here, I've got ceiling fan here, just a normal fan here. On the side here, I've got two burner propane stove uh, inside here, which you access from the outside. There is two propane tanks. Next, I've got a heater right here. There is a thermostat right there. You can run the heater all night. I, I found that just kind of a moderate use of running the heater, you know, in the evening, in the mornings, and then like boiling water or doing some cooking. I can get about eight days before I need to refill the propane. And this little cubby. There is two deep cycle batteries in here, which are attached to a solar panel on the roof, which provides a ton of power. And I wanted to have a lot of power uh, in this rig just so that I could charge devices, run my computer, you know, use this as kind of a mobile editing office. And then on the side here, I've got four USB ports. And then right here, I've got two normal like 12 volt plugins. This is where I'll run my computer. Gosh, with the deep cycle, two deep cycle batteries attached to the solar and the, the inverter in there, like, I don't know, the, the guys at Four Wheel Camper said that I could run my computer for a week without needing to like turn the vehicle on or recharge. So pretty rad power supply. Next up, I installed this custom. This is a uh, Lagoon table. Um, basically you mount it right here via mounting bracket and then it, uh, it can like kind of rotate around. And so if I'm sitting right here, I can have my laptop plugged in. I can have my laptop right here. If you've got two people in the camper, you can have one person there. You can have another person there. You can rotate this guy around and you can have a nice little dinner together. Pretty rad. All right, next up on the side here, um, it comes with just these kind of organizational bins. And so I've got a variety of things got uh, this device right here. This is called a JBL clip. Um, this is a Bluetooth speaker system that you power with USB. Um, so I can have jam out tunes in the camper. Ah, I've got some cleaning supplies. I've got toiletry kit, lighter. These little guys, these are 
just little sticky hooks that you can get from anywhere, from Walmart, whatever. And I just like slap them up here on the side. I usually hang, sometimes I'll hang, hang clothing right here. I'll hang uh, trash bags, um, super simple. All right, next, got a big window right here, looking out. Obviously a curtain, so you can shut this if you want. So right here, there's some, a little storage bin right here. There's also storage bin on this side. And then down here, there's more storage as well as the connecting piece between the camper and the truck. And that's right here. So this specific model is a fleet shell model. And what the shell model means is that it's kind of got the bare minimum inside. Um, you can trick these four wheel campers out with like everything. You can put a shower in them, you can a toilet, a refrigerator, or a whole like dinette set. You flip out couch right over here. Tons of customization options. I went with the shell, uh, it's less expensive and it's just a lot more roomy inside, which gives me more flexibility for packing and trips and whatnot. The only other things I got in here is I've got uh, water, obviously. I've got a bin here with a bunch of food and cooking supplies, and then I've got a, a Yeti, a little Yeti tote. I'm um, gonna use this for just other miscellaneous things. All right, that's just a really quick run through of the camper. This thing has been a really awesome investment for me. It allows me to stay comfortable when I'm out and about. Like I said earlier, instead of like going, only going out for a couple days at a time and then coming home because I was uncomfortable. Like now I can stay out for a week at a time or 10 days. and There's really no limit, right? Because I always get to come back to this super plush base camp. So yeah, it's just allowed me to do lots of cool things and spend that much more time out in the field. That's a wrap for today. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. I will see you next time. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a very stuck truck. Sometimes she goes and sometimes she doesn't go. This, uh... Definitely didn't go. <laughs> Coming through and I was gonna go just go bloop right up here and the front tires got up and then the back tires went <laughs> got sucked right into that and I just didn't have enough oomph to get over and now I'm high centered right here. Can't move or budge or anything. Fortunately my dad is about 30 minutes out. He's bringing a big F-150 and hopefully we can rope up to the front and then pull me straight that way, like out the other direction and just, that's as stuck as I have ever been.